You ever notice that sort of musky, earthy smell that kind of crops up during the monsoon? It's nostalgic for a lot of people, a sign we might be getting perhaps a break from our dry heat. It's been a while since we've smelled it, has right. it? <laughs> There's right. a reason behind the smell, a source behind the smell. Mm -hmm. Monica Garcia live tonight at Desert Bot uh, Botanical Gardens to explain what it is. Monica. Well, that's right, guys. It's like a superpower we all possess, everyone living out here in the desert. We can smell sometimes when it's going to rain, and we can credit what's called the creosote bush, which is right behind me, for all of that. Some say it's like a magical aroma, a whiff of nostalgia, that telltale sign of rain. When you get just the initial raindrops, and then I get this, you know, you get this earthy smell. You could literally smell the, the, the ground getting cleansed. Did you know that here in Arizona, we have this plant, the creosote bush, to thank for that musky, wet desert smell? And it smells like that because of, it has volatile compounds, over hundreds of them, in the leaves. Uh, when the rain hits that, it releases them, and it smells like rain. Brian Harris, a landscape designer from Dig It Up Garden, says some plants secrete oils during dry periods. Come on soon, those oils are released into the air. Yeah, it's got that musky smell to it. I put a little clipping in my shower, so every morning I, I smell that beautiful aroma. And growing, growing strong, the creosote bush can live up to 200 years, and not to mention its medicinal qualities. It's a general pain reliever. Uh, it's an antimicrobial, so it helps fight bacteria, infections. Um, you can make a tea out of it. So when you think rain, think the creosote bush. Now that you're a smarty plant. So stop and smell the creotote, whether you're out here at the Desert Botanical Garden or you're on a hike, they say especially abundance of it's going to be in lower lying regions of the valley. And Scottsdale, I'm Monica Garcia for Arizona's Family.